So here's the problem with letting go that no one really tells you. So when you'll watch videos, whether you're dabbling in the spiritual community or straight up dating advice videos, also in the self-help community, a common theme is to just let things go. Don't care, let it go. Don't care too much. Nothing really matters that much. No one's special. Let it go. Don't hold any attachment to anything that only leads to disappointment. Here's where I think people, what people get wrong about letting go is you need to care in order to not care. Let's say a common thing that happens is you face rejection in life. You're rejected from a potential dating partner. You're rejected from a promotion at work for a job. Just any, any time where somebody just tells you like, no, no, you're not good enough. No, this isn't for you. Is a lot of people will just, they'll let it go. They'll let it go where they're like, well, I don't really care. That person, that person really isn't that great anyway. Or I didn't really want that job that much anyway. I, you know, I don't, I don't really care that much. I'm just, I'll just let it go. You know, I didn't, I didn't expect anything anyway. You know, I didn't expect to get that job. I didn't expect to date that person anyway. In order to actually let go, you actually need to like acknowledge that you did care or want something and feel the pain and sadness of not getting it. So you need to care in order to not care. And once you actually feel through that and don't just bury it deep down, don't be in denial, don't deflect and say you really didn't want to date that person anyway or they're not special or you really didn't want that job anyway. You need to just acknowledge that you faced rejection, it hurt, you felt like you weren't good enough, not worthy enough. And if you actually feel through those emotions and work on your emotional state, you will actually get to the genuine true point where you don't care. And every time that you face rejection in the future, you will care less and less. And I just feel that this is not something that people actually discuss and say, and people don't actually understand the true meaning of letting something go is actually feeling it feeling it out, feeling that it feels pretty bad and really working on your emotional state, working through those negative emotions where everything does boil back down to an emotion, emotional response. And then you can let it go for real instead of faking letting go, which is very prominent in the spiritual community, the self-help community. It's mainly, I feel, saturated with a lot of people that really haven't done much internal work. They've read a lot of books. They've got gained success on YouTube. For Very few people have actually done the work and actually genuinely let things go. People really gloss over Spiritual leaders, self-help gurus, dating gurus, they gloss over the actual incredible amount of emotional work it requires to actually let something go. And some of these letting go techniques are just bandages to addressing like your actual problems and emotional state. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time.